The Biden administration has just strengthened the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. You know it is DACA. The Department of Homeland Security formally registered a rule that codifies the program as we know it. DACA protects children of migrants brought to this country as minors from deportation and allows them to legally work in the United States as long as they continue to meet certain criteria. Now, this new rule does not change the current DACA eligibility requirements. June marked 10 years since then President Obama issued a memo that created the DACA program. But a presidential memo is not a law. And that's why then President Trump tried to end the program in 2017. His attempts were actually blocked by the Supreme Court. I covered it in this video a real long time ago in June of 2020. Fast forward to day one of the Biden administration when President Biden issued another executive order to try and strengthen the DACA program. By September of 2021, the Department of Homeland Security had started the process to enshrine DACA into the federal code through this lengthy process called the federal rulemaking process. This process includes a long comment period, and this particular process brought in 16,000 public comments. That comment period ended and DHS officially registered a final federal regulation through the National Register. Now, does this mean DACA is 100% safe? No. Is this rule as good as a law passed by Congress? Absolutely not. But it is better to legally have a final federal rule on the books than just a presidential memo. But this rule still may not hold up in court. There are several lawsuits moving through the court systems right now to get rid of the DACA program. Regardless, under this new rule in the government's code of regulations, on October 31st, President Obama's DACA memo will be rescinded and the new Homeland Security rule will take effect.